Hello, fabulous Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt. We have big things happening in the sky for you now. And the most important thing really is the new moon taking place mid-month. Yes, it is a blue moon. Yes, we've got a full moon in your opposite sign to start the month. All of that is a big deal. But let me tell you, that new moon in the middle of the month, the fact that it is going to be speaking with Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto in conversations of tension, well, it does tell me that there is some difficult truth about yourself that you may be looking at. But the great thing is, is that this energy can also be very empowering. There's a sense of where you want things to be different, and there is conviction that by your own effort, you can make them different or make them better in some way. There is a sense that through your own determination and consistent action, you can experience improvement. It may not be the easiest moment, okay? It may be that there is some difficult truths about yourself that you are looking at that leave you feeling frustrated in some way. And part of that frustration may very well be with you being frustrated at yourself. And yet you will find a way to navigate this time and you will find this moment to be one that informs you for a very long time to come, that strengthens you and strengthens your resolve to be yourself and to trust yourself going forward from here. Now let's talk about the full moons that are taking place this month because we start the month on a full moon, we end the month on a full moon and both of these full moons are very powerful. There are big players deeply involved in this lunar energy and you add to the fact where they are taking place. The first full moon in your opposite sign, the second full moon at the end of the month is a consequential part of the sky having to do with profound truth and being willing to look more deeply and transform in some way. That full moon happening at the beginning of the month in your opposite sign is going to bring another person into focus in some way. You are understanding yourself differently as reflected in the eyes of another. This full moon is hand in hand with Chiron in the sky, which means that your exchanges with another person are either going to be profoundly healing or are going to open and expose your own wounding, your own sense of vulnerability. And in some way, it may feel that you are exposed to another or another is laying it all out there for you. But it is going to be one of these moments that represents a turning point. A lot of you may experience this energy in the context of love, and I will speak about that more specifically in just a moment. But this energy can play out in other types of one-on-one -on -one alliances, including business partnerships and professional alliances as well. This is a turning point. This is a moment of honesty. And either it is going to lead to a depth of understanding and renewed commitment, or it is going to have you and this person going in a different direction. Now the full moon at the end of the month, that is a part of the sky that has to do with profound and meaningful transformation, regeneration. It is also connected to understanding more deeply and in particular understanding another. This part of the sky can also speak to financial agreements, whether that's with a person or whether that is uh, in terms of your connection to a financial institution. Now, this full moon that's happening on Halloween is going to happen hand in hand with the Uranus, which does suggest truth, yes, but the kind that takes you by surprise, the kind that you did not expect that may feel like it comes out of nowhere to surprise you. Now, ultimately, what you do with this energy is always up to you to decide. But just know, for some out there, it may feel as if very quickly you have to address a financial matter. Very quickly, you may have to look at some uh, previous financial contract or agreement that had taken place. Or you may be looking at where it is now you want to solidify a particular financial agreement. More personally, this can be profound insight into yourself that leaves you changed in some way. So now let's talk about the sky in the context of love, because I think this is going to be a big month for love for the Libras out there. 
And this sky does suggest that as a result of your experiences with another person, you are then seeing yourself differently and then going to a deeper place of understanding. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, when we have such strong lunar energy in your opposite sign, like we do with this full moon at the beginning of the month, it means that someone is there to help you to understand where you are in love and why and what it is you come to realize may have you feeling especially vulnerable and might even be uncomfortable. I'm sorry to say, but sometimes some of our more powerful learning happens in this way. As we navigate to that new moon in the middle of the month, you are understanding some new dynamic differently whether or not that person continues to be there in some way, the experience you have in the early days of the month stay with you and continue to shift you and change you mid-month. And certainly it is at the end of the month that you are uncovering some deeper truth. Remember, it is also this month that is a Mercury retrograde month. And Mercury is going to retrograde back into your sign at the end of the month and as we head into next month, which tells me that so much of the learning right now is oriented towards you seeing yourself differently. At the end of the month, the full moon will help you to uncover some truth about yourself and to truly embrace where it is that change is ready to be made so that you can truly move forward in this life more healed, more open, more honest, more excited about your future. For those of you who have just started to date somebody, this can be a powerful time as well. Turning point moments. It is all or nothing with a sky like this. Either you are seeing things about this person early in the month that make you feel that this is someone you can really be with and start to walk down that path, or you see things that make you realize this is someone that you don't want to be with. And that sense of seeing this person more deeply, what that means for you in terms of what brought you to this situation, that is going to start to reveal itself mid-month. And then late in the month, that is when you make sense of things or deepen the commitment, deepen the sense of connection to each other. Because it is the full moon at the end of the month that represents closures that you consciously make, this can be one of those moments where either you are deepening your sense of knowing and vulnerability and connection to this person, or you are realizing that you really are ready to move in a different direction. And for those of you in an established bond, I do feel like your partner is going to come into focus in a powerful way at the very beginning of the month. Now, what that says about you and how you really feel about it is going to reveal itself to you mid-month as you come to uncover some strength within you. But it is at the end of the month that a deeper sense of vulnerability with each other starts to set in. Now, sometimes that full moon happening on Halloween, that can sometimes speak to your partner's income. There may be some surprise developments on that front that do take place, but regardless of what happens, it is going to be at this time and with a sky like this, that you are coming to a depth of appreciation as to the bond that you have with your partner, what is the truth to it, and is this a bond that you want to continue or not. A very small percentage of you out there are going to decide to go in a different direction, but I do think that for the overwhelming majority of Libras out there, a month like this says a renewal of commitment, a depth of bond revealing itself more fully. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here. It is a huge astrological month, and that is especially true for you. This is a time where so much can change. Brand new chapters open up for you, and a depth of consideration into self takes place at this time. Now, ultimately, what you come to uncover about you is going to be uniquely your own, but some of these truths may take you by surprise. And as you uncover these truths, that will also uncover your commitment to the work to live this new understanding of self that you find now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.